What I like about working with the iPhone, it's not going to replace the, the DSLRs or the rangefinder cameras. It's just that it enables a completely different experience of, of shooting. Years ago, when, when we were working with Hasselblad, or when I was working with medium format, I'd, I'd hold the camera at waist level and look down, and it enabled me to have eye contact with the, with the subject. And later on, when I started working more with 35 millimeter uh, DSLRs, the camera comes between the photographer and the subject. And what the iPhone actually enables me to do is something between these two cameras. I don't put the, the iPhone to the eye, so I don't block the eye contact with the subject. The kind of images that, that come out um, are somewhere between uh, documentary or photojournalism kind of images because I do document the event. Somewhere between that and, and what I would you know, modestly call goes towards a fine art would be pictures that, that look more like paintings. I don't only have a camera, I can of course put, do the entire post-production on the phone. I can share it with the client immediately on the spot as you shoot. The iPhone is possibly uh, a bigger revolution than digital photography because uh, digital photography only enables us to shoot on a different kind of film. Here we have, we have a camera, we have a computer, we have access to the internet, and we have the largest library on earth uh, all in the palm of my hand. So all in all a very versatile uh, uh, kind of camera that, that opens a whole new window of, of uh, opportunities, of, of ways of working than, than existed before. I don't think it's gonna, it's gonna really take over or, or replace any existing camera. It's just a, a very interesting new way of shooting, uh, a new breed of camera altogether.